the Valero Alamo Bowl at 6.30 p.m. on ESPN, December 31st, of course. San Antonio, Texas. Texas gets to stay in its home state. Utah's got to come traveling. Kyle Whittingham against Tom Herman is a pretty interesting coaching matchup, uh, if for no other reason than Herman's already feeling some heat, and Whittingham has been there for, what, 19 years, 20 years? I mean, forever. He's got to be up there as one of the top, you know, five longest tenured coaches in college football. Now, one thing that could be an interesting uh, side note on this is the motivation factor, right? Utah, they are 11 and two. Texas is seven and five. Texas got bumped up into this game. Utah got dropped down to this game. Uh, Utah probably should have been in a new year six game. And, and had they won the PAC 12 title game, they're probably in the playoff. And Man, but hang on now, hold on. Th- they're not Alabama or Georgia who, who missed out on a playoff opportunity, a big boy powerhouse. This is Utah. This is still an incredible season. It, oh, yeah. It, before the season started, you said they get to play in this game, they get to play in Texas, and you give them the record they got. They'd take it. They'd all take it. Oh, no, I, I agree with you, but it, it's a little bit different when you're coming it's off of a— It's Ohio State missing the playoffs and not caring about the Gator Bowl. Agreed. But it is still a little different when it was right there in front of you. That's wow. that's why I'm saying that the motivation factor might be there. It might be an issue. So I, I am a little curious about that. Um, you, you look at all the stats, like Texas— Massey strength of schedule, they are number six in the country. They played the sixth toughest strength of schedule in the country. Utah played the number 38. Um, Texas has just got a ton of – they've got 14 players listed as questionable in this game. Now, my guess is the majority of them will play. Sam Ellinger is still going to play. What Texas likes to do on offense, a, a lot like what USC was doing on offense. So, you know, we'll, we'll see uh, whether or not Utah can stop it. But uh, but yeah, we <laughs> you hear the boy behind me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, Texas eight and two against the spread under Tom Herman as a seven plus point underdog. Herman is three and zero oh in bowl games, all of them winning straight up as an underdog. So, I I will tell you this: I'm going to go Texas plus seven and a half here. Uh, I like the over fifty five. I think we're going to see points because I think Texas has some guys on the line that will be able to mash these dudes. I don't think that Utah is like not going to show up or anything like that. I just think that Texas will be able to keep this thing closer than seven and a half. Um, this yeah. is a guy that told me all year long, this Utah defense is unbelievable. They're top in the country. They could stop any offense. All this mess about how they belonged in the conversation. To, I still to believe that they belonged in the, the conversation. Team. And you think they're going to get beat by a five-loss Texas team that wasn't really impressive all year? I, again, this Don't is a motivation a thing for me. Season. This is it, it's a motivation thing for me. I, I think that's a big part of it, and I do think that Texas can match up against them. If you think Texas can match up against them, what the hell do you think would have happened if they had gotten the playoff? Oh, they well, Utah would have probably gotten smoked, but that's a that's a different. That's a whole different thing. Well, there can't be a probably to it, Gary. If Texas can beat them, these three teams are going to kill them. Agreed. But again, motivation. A little different thing here. I, we're just... You're, you're, where, you're, where are you you're going on this? putting them in the same category as Georgia. Give me Utah. Give me the under. I'm going the exact opposite now. I, I, Utah's defense is going to slow them down. You stop Sam Ellinger. You stop, you stop Texas's offense. It's just that simple. He is a stud. He is a freak. But but he can be contained. Okay, okay, I I'm like that. I'm going with the better coach, and I'm going with the better defense. All right, I can understand it. 